Well, howdy, everybody. Welcome to another dish dump. That's Dave's other doings, where we bring the cool stuff to you, the farming stuff. Today we're farming. This is a uh, big field here at our mile post eight siding. I've been uh, doing track inspection today, putting in missing bolts, fixing joints. It's uh, July 15th, 2000. 24. <laughs> it's hot. It's almost 90 degrees. I don't know who this guy is. This is not the same guy that made the hay last year in this field. I don't know who he is. So. Of course, I didn't know who the guy was last year that did this. Uh, the mine owns this field. Uh, they lease it out. They own a bunch of acreage. All that back in there they own. Typically they own 150 feet out from the center of the track on both sides. But some places they own more like here. It's got a double rake there. Fifty? Is that what it says? No round bell, all this. Breaking like that, it'll get done in a hurry. I got the field behind me raked already. At least there's a nice little breeze blowing. up there a little bit ago fixing a track joint. I had to cut the bolts off with my cutoff saw and uh, I got all done, cleaned everything up and there was one nut missing but I felt something. I felt something underneath my foot didn't seem right. I thought I was walking on a piece of gravel or something but got out of the truck here and uh, look what happened. The, uh, the nut melted it was so hot it melted into the bottom of my shoe. Oh boy. Ha! <laughs> Never ever had that happen before. No. Oh. <laughs> That's a rarity. Well, there it is. Imagine that. Whew. I don't know how I'm going to get it out of there. Hope I didn't ruin that boot. That's not very thick right there. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm never ever having that. Heard, had that happen before. Oh, I tried pulling it off with channel walks. That didn't work. Uh-uh. All right. <laughs> Got to use two hands here. Look at that. Huh. Oh, this is a one in a million. There it is. And cut it out. Goodness gracious sakes alive. Nobody would have believed it. That thing was hot when I cut it. That's why it melted. I guess I was standing on it and didn't realize it. 
what are you gonna do that's railroading <laughs> all right back to the farming show I haven't had these boots but uh, about three weeks too hmm go figure I used to love to make hay. I used to love to cut hay. Wasn't too fond of raking, but I used a John Deere 520 two cylinder with power steering and a float ride seat to rake hay with. I only had a single rake. I had a New Holland, and then I got a John Deere rake. Uh, New Holland, you had to pick up and just put on the hitch. John Deere had a single front wheel in the front, so all you had to do was pick up a small hitch and hook it up, so it was a lot easier to hook up. Uh, and uh, I could pull it down the road a lot easier with my pickup truck than trying to hook up that uh, rake that you had to pick up didn't have a uh, tongue on the front. <sighs> Spent many a days in the hayfield in this kind of heat, but I was a lot younger back then. If I had had air-conditioned tractors, I may have stayed farming for a while longer. He'll get done in no time here. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for tuning in and watching. And I hope you have a really good day. Well, this is the field on the other side of the tracks. Got it raked already. A big field way out there, they haven't cut yet. It's got these other uh, utility tractor here. This is a 2040. I don't know what horsepower it is. I'm going to guess around 45 or so. Easy to get up into. And, uh, eight speed transmission. Oh, there's a nice breeze blowing here. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. How about that? It's got a bale fork on the front. That baby's seen some use. There you go. All right.